Hi, Don Campbell here with Expand to Web, and today I'd like to show you how to add custom forms to your WordPress blog or website. So one of the things, I work with a lot of clients who move um, their website over to WordPress, and they might have a form something like this. Um, maybe it's a little, you know, more than just a contact form. Maybe they're trying to collect some specific information, and they want to know, how can I do that with WordPress? So one of the cool things about WordPress is the plugins. There's thousands of these plugins available that allow you to customize and extend the functionality of your blog. So here's one in particular. I'm going to go over to a um, to the to the WordPress dashboard and just kind of show you this one that um, <clears throat> that I, that I like. I'm going to go to plugins and add new. And one of the newest one of the newer features in WordPress. I think this started with WordPress 2.8 is that you can search for plugins and install them right from the admin panel. So I'm going to search for this uh, plugin called C Forms, and you'll see <clears throat> here it's called C Forms 2 Contact Form. That's the one I'm looking for, and I can just install it right from here. Click install, and then I can just go ahead and set it up. Now I actually have it installed already, so I'm going to go look at my installed plugins. And here you see C Forms, and I'm going to go ahead and activate the form. Now, what you get here with C Forms is the ability to configure any number of custom forms on your website. So let's go take a look. I'm going to go over here to the left side on the options panel and click on C Forms. And this is going to take me to a place where I can create multiple forms. So here, here I've got one called Getting Started, and it's meant to emulate this form right here. So I'm going to collect information like first name, middle name, last name, email address, some other stuff. It has a drop down for the state, uh, and then a zip code and some check boxes. And then I can choose do I want a um, response via email or regular mail. So what I'm going to do is go create that form in here. And here you see C Forms. I'm going to give it a name, getting started. And C Forms comes with a default form that you can just kind of override or you can create a new one. Because like I mentioned, you can create multiple forms and then just select the form you're working with right here. So let's take a look at how these fields look. When you add a new field, you give it a name and you give it, you choose the type. So in this case, we've got a first name field. I'm going to select single line of text could also do check boxes, multi-select boxes, password fields, all kinds of cool stuff. Then you just give it a name and then this um, click on this little button to name it and do special options. So now that's just a text line of text, just pretty simple. Now what if you wanted a selection box? Here I've, sele I've picked select box and I'm going to go to the inspector or the editor for this one and take a look. And here you're going to see that I've named the field state which you can see behind there. And then I've given it a couple of options and I can add more of them too. And I can just add here, I've only added two states, but I could add as many as I wanted. And those will appear in the drop down. And I've got zip code. Um, here I've got some check boxes. And this is also a little bit different. And then I also have radio buttons. So I'm kind of going to flip back and forth between the form. I just showed you this, you know, how to set up a drop down like this. Now let's take a look at check boxes. So if I were to go uh, back over to my form, you'll see that I've created a checkbox group here. And if I open it up, these are all the options in that checkbox group. So I've added all these different checkboxes. And here, all this is saying is, hey, do you want this checked by default? And then this little arrow here says, do I want a, you know, a line feed or a carriage return after each, each one? And then that's it. So I set those up. And then finally, I've got this. Um, radio button as well. So I've set this up. Here's here's the text that I want to show up. And now I can select, you know, allow my my visitor to select whether they want to get email or snail mail. Now um, when I go back to my form, so the other thing you can do with C forms now <clears throat> is I go here to the admin actions and say update settings and it will save my changes. So now there's a couple other things just to look at here and, and that is um, you know, where do you want this this form to get emailed to? So when somebody goes and actually fills out the form on the site, what do you want? What do you want to happen? And so you can scroll down here to this. Um, there's a bunch of other options, and there's there's help with this too. So you can click on the the help over here and um, and get some you know detailed instructions on how to do these things. But what I found is 
just getting started is a little bit overwhelming because there's so many options and that's why I want to do this video. So what I want to do is show you this um, <clears throat> admin email message options is what we're looking for. And here's where you can put the from email address. So when you when somebody fills out this form, you're probably going to have want to have it sent to you and this is the email address that it's going to go to and this is the from address that you're going to see. And then you can even customize what shows up in that email. So you could multiple, I mean you could notify multiple people uh, and customize the message. But right now we're going to leave that default and just put an email address in there. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to change it so that there's a um, <clears throat> so that it automatically redirects to a thank you page and I'll show you that in just a minute but first I wanted to show you how you actually enter how do you actually put this form in so um, into a page so what's cool is once you get this form created there's a little code snippet you can put it's actually more like a tag that you can put in any page or post in WordPress and this form will show up so let's go to pages and I've created a getting started page with a bunch of other text in it and I'll show you that page here so here's the getting started page and if I scroll down you'll see that um, this is the form right here the getting started form and there's a little drop down um, there, I mean a little button that gets added to your editor that allows you to click and insert the, the form and allows you to pick from the available forms that you've got and then drop it right in so wherever you put this into your uh, into the post or the page that's where it's going to show up so let's go um, and take a look at that on the site so this is that page it's the getting started page you can see we've got a bunch of text and instructions about the form and then here's the form itself so here are the different fields and then here's the state drop down like I was telling you and then here are the check boxes that we set up and the radio buttons now if I go ahead and, and fill out a little bit of information in here so here, here I've filled in the form with some basic information <clears throat> and you can see you know, I've, I've made my selections on different stuff. I'm going to go ahead and submit the form and I get a, a nice little pop-up indicating that I have filled out the form and it takes me to that thank you page. Now let me just show you real quick how I set up this thank you page. Um, what I did is in <clears throat> under the messages section and the email options you can go under here and you can check this box that says redirect options and it enable a success page and that's all I did is I created a page on the website uh, using WordPress and a nice little thank you page and I told it hey direct me to that page or direct my my you know my visitors to that page after they filled out the form the other thing I did which I didn't show you earlier is I checked these boxes for the pop-up message to so that when somebody does submit the form that pop-up message shows up saying hey thank you for submitting or if they you know missed a required field it will let them know that too so that's it really um, that's all there is to it to create an, a nice little form and like I said you can create multiple forms using this tool so it's, it is really powerful if you take a few minutes to get to know it now the last thing I'll just show you is the styling I did have to change a couple of little things but the nice thing is they provide um, C-Forms provides a bunch of different themes for your form that you can change and then you can also go in and edit the CSS directly if you need to uh, <clears throat> for formatting on your blog. And that's it. So I hope that uh, this was helpful to you and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'd really appreciate it if you're watching this video on YouTube if you take a couple minutes to rate it and, and leave me comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.